Hello. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing fine. Um, I have a video to make uh, addressing uh, scientists. Any any scientists that uh, might be out there. Um, it seems that a lot of uh, there's a lot of contradictions in, in what uh, scientists are saying. In fact, uh, there clearly are a lot of contradictions. And uh, one major contradiction is the idea of time. They. S <laughs> It's funny, it's hilarious when you think about it because they say um, the the universe is, uh, what, 13.8 billion years old now. And there clearly is no way to measure the, the, the age of the universe because there's no measure of time we have no measure of time there is no such thing as a measure of time time is entirely relative De depending on where you are in the universe time at sea level is not the same as time in the mountains time in the mountains is not the same as time on a satellite Time on the space shuttle is not the same as time here on Earth. So which time, which measure of time are you using? There is no standard of measure of time. The time that we use is indicated by the rotation or the orbit of the Earth around the Sun and the orbit of the Moon around the Earth and the rotation of the earth in, in relation to the sun for our days other than that there is no that's that's our standard of measure of time but that's an arbitrary standard it's not it's not uh, it's not even accurate uh, it's not even the same measure of time in different places on the earth and uh, much less you're going to uh, use it as a measure of time but anyways they have this age of the universe but it's all from expanded time they're measuring expanded time and saying that's that's actual time when time clearly expanded from no time and you know all the all the evidence is is that time expanded when space expanded both space and time expanded together so you can't use expanded time as a measure of time because uh, according to the time on the black hole the earth is probably not even uh, 100 years old I mean the universe is not even 100 years old according to the standard of time the passage of time near a black hole because time goes by very slow near a black hole another thing even distance is relative even distance is arbitrary the distance here is not the same distance if you're near a black hole even distance itself is, is expanded and arbitrary there's no standard of distance either so I don't know how it is that somebody can say with absolute confidence that the earth is so many billions of years old when it's actually closer to no time than it is to billions of years old because it all expanded from no time so how can you get billions of years old from no time? You can't. It's just crazy. And yet, you want to force your beliefs 
on everyone as to the age of the universe. But it's expanded time that you're using as your measurement. Not no time. It's closer to, the universe is closer to no time than it is to billions of years old because it expanded from no time. It began with no time. And in many places it still is close to no time. Literally. Because of the passage of time. It grows so slow. And besides light from the photons from the farthest galaxy arrive instantly. Except to us it appears to take a long time. Take time because of the expansion of time and space. So it's not an accurate measure. What we see is not the reality. Like the example I gave, when you go to spear a fish, you have to aim underneath the fish or you're going to miss the fish entirely because the reality that you think you see is not real. It's not the reality. What you think you see is not the reality. The reality is that the fish is closer to you than what it looks to be what it appears to be. It appears to be farther away. So, it's just nonsense. And then when you get into biology, it's even more nonsense. You start talking about biological form, life forms appeared on their own without explaining that amino acids, 20 left-handed amino acids never occur naturally. And if they ever did, which they never do, they could never significantly sequence themselves in a use, into being a useful working protein. Not one single working protein, much less hundreds of essential working proteins. Elements do not significantly sequence themselves. They do not. You get, you know, that's all fantasy. A biogenesis is fantasy. Evolution is fantasy. You can't get from being one animal to being another animal that there are no written directives for which requires millions and millions of changes to get a transformation. And we hardly ever see a single so-called beneficial trans uh, mutation. There is no such thing as a beneficial mutation. It benefits the creature that already exists. It doesn't transform the creature into being something else. It's just absolute nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. I don't I don't understand it. I don't understand where scientists get off on making these wild contradictory assertions. We know that time is an expanded fabrication. It expanded from no time. So why are you saying that the that time is millions of years old when time is entirely relative to where you are. You put an exact number on the, on the age of the universe. When there is no exact measure for the age of the universe. You put an exact number on the, on the distance when there is no exact measure of distance. It's all entirely relative. Relative to mass and gravity and, and expansion and everything. So it's about time you started giving uh, creationists some credit. That what we've been saying for many, many thousands of years is true. That we have a maker. That all things have a maker. It has to have a maker because it's the elements are essential working parts inside of us. You can't get working parts without having a maker. You can't get directed working parts without having a maker. 
You can't get significantly sequenced amino acids without having a maker for making a protein, a single protein. It's just nonsense. The evidence that we have is that we have a maker. We exist, we have a maker. Objects did not make us. It's as clear as day. And yet, you just sit there and deny the reality that's in your face. It's in your face. And you don't see it. It's right in front of you and you don't see it. It's all around you and you don't see it. You're totally blind to the reality that you have a maker. So stop bashing creationists. Just makes you look even worse than what you are.